you'll see I am beyond all the intro and at the part where I have to start building something, a place to call home. So right now I am trying to get sufficient resources to build uh, the first repairs on the church. And I'll be doing this in parts. First part is getting this church together. Let's go over to the church and see what we need. So it'll tell you on the right. If you have it, you'll get a little check mark beside it. If you don't, you get a little X. So you can see for the church, <coughs> all we need is 11,000 groschen, which we do not have as per the X, and a woodcutter's camp, which we do have as per the check mark. <coughs> Let's see how much money I do have in here. I only have about 4K, a little under 4K. That's not even half. Um, in my inventory, I can add, let's see how much Groshan I have on me right now. Is it Groshan or Groshan? Somebody tell me. I have no Groshan Groshan on me? I have nothing. All my money is currently in here. So let's see, I don't think there's really anything I can do right now to add to the town that's going to produce a lot of money. So my, uh, my first instinct is just to grind hard for this Groshan. Groshan. I don't have enough for like anything. Basically the cheapest thing to start after the woodcutter's camp is like 4,000 Groshan. Um, oh, I guess you could build some beehives. Do I have everything I need for beehives? I could build some beehives and it gives me a little bit of income, not so much. But it provides the honey for baker and honey for tavern on the bottom. You can see where it says provides. So that might not be a bad idea. Let's build the beehive and then we'll start grinding. Because I'm assuming the tavern will bring you a lot of Groshan. Master Bailiff. Mm, Master Bailiff. Beehive sucker. That'll be under outskirts. Let's do beehives. We ought to keep bees here. There's always a demand for honey. Hmm. Right. That should do it. We've got everything we need to start building. Come with me. All right. Every time you want to build something, uh, and Brutus Levitz, he makes you follow him to the spot he's gonna put it. But he runs there, which is nice. A nice change from the slow walk. I thought he was going to the wall. I really want this guy's outfit. Like a lot. Ooh, tackle. No, don't do that. Uh, I haggled in the beginning to pay him less money. Basically, you're just gonna want to skimp and save for every part of prison. Then you have to talk to him when you get to the spot because you can't just do it. Yes. Shall we get started? Sure. I'm ready. Do it. I'll just like, I guess it gives you a chance to change your mind in case you accidentally click on something, so... All good. I don't know why this ha happens, though. Like, Maybe so it doesn't give you the option to steal all your garage in back before going and kind of cheat the system. Ah, That's cool. I wonder if I can loot honey from these. I guess you need honey for the mead in the tavern, is what the idea behind that is. That's cool. I'm imagining that's like the smallest thing you can build. Ah, now I can pick up some honey. Can I loot honey? I can! So I guess that's a tiny source of income. Are they all the same? Oh no! I like can get a little bit from it, I guess. Maybe like five grosh in there. But, you know, a source of honey, that's cool. So, my plan to get grosh in is just to kill everyone I see, basically. Uh, loot everything, steal everything, and reap the rewards. And. There's really nothing near Pervislavitz. Um, let's see if I have any little side quests. I've been doing a lot of side quests, 
I don't really want to do side quests though. I kind of want to just focus on grinding for this money. So what I'm going to do is just ride into the woods until I see someone. And actually I'll ride towards, I think, Ujret, so at least I can get there. And, you know, it's my second playthrough. I'm yeah. playing through as Evil Henry, or just, you know, do what he wants Henry. So I can just steal a bunch of stuff and then build a church with all my blood money. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, it's kind of reflective of real life medieval times, probably. Let's get off the beaten trail a little bit. What I want is for some bandits to sprout up or like to find a poacher. Ooh, there's a guy. We won't kill him, we'll just knock him out. We're not that bad. Let's go. Wayfair. Knock out. Give me all your stuff, sucker. This guy is probably literally worth like two Groshen. But you know what? Every dollar counts. Oh, five Groshen and some, you know, some stuff. I am uh, in cahoots with the Millers, so I have no issues selling anything ever, yeah. stolen or not. The other option for grinding, if you don't want to just choke out every wayfarer you see, poaching might be a good idea. If you cook the meat, then you can sell it. You don't need to wait for it to be not stolen, at which point it's spoiled. You can also pick herbs, grind alchemy. There's a lot of ways to make money in this game if you have patience. I don't have a ton of patience, so that's why I just kill everyone and steal their stuff. I'm not killed necessarily. Okay. Not really seeing anyone else. Yeah. Uh, I could fast travel as well, which might result in an attack on the road. Um, that's another option. Let's go see if this windmill is a dome. Windmill generates stuff that might include Groshen. I think this might be the mill that we went on, went to in one of the main quest lines. Nope. Let's see what we can find here. Anybody who? They are. You choked out, sucker! This next guy may have to may have to murder. I'm just assuming there's no guards around. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's running. Oh well, I'll let him run. Let's see what I can find. After taking all our stuff, usually there's a chest around. Take all these apples. I don't see a chest. I got a key, so I know there's a trunk somewhere in here. I usually wouldn't bother. There we go. Eh. Not bad. Robbing like food and stuff, but when you need Groshen, you need Groshen, you know? Let's move some stuff to my horse. Um, because it's getting a bit heavy. Could probably move one torch, I guess. Actually, I think I might have an upgrade. Oh, just my vitality, that's not helpful. Um,. I'll get that one. I was hoping strength is the one that you can... I'm not even going to bother with that because I never take pockets. I don't even know how I've upgraded on that. Okay, well that was not really a great yield, yeah. but let's continue on. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, the clearance wasn't there. That's cool. I'm moving along. Yeah. I see Ujits in the distance. I don't know, grinding for over 
5,000 grasha now that I bought those stupid beehives. It's gonna be hard. But maybe a little easier now that you have some income coming in automatically from the town. How do I kill this guard and get away with it? Do I try it? Yes. My stealth is very high. I think my stealth is like 15. So don't try this at home. I'm gonna save a stealth of 15. Actually, I should probably kill him. Yeah, sad to say, I gotta kill him. Because when he wakes up... Oh! Jeez, I've never killed someone like that. But when he wakes up, he'll like, no. So I didn't really have a choice. But this is where you're gonna get all your money. Like, I don't know how anyone does this game without stealing. I'll eat some bread. Let me just move all his armor. That's probably what's really weighing me down. I had some good stuff on him. Like, guards are always just, like, full of really great stuff. Um... I'll head over to a miller's later. Probably knock this brat out. Plus, then you get to level up your stealth. Everyone wins. Everyone's a winner. Except for everyone that I'm knocking out. And I got a key to what I'm assuming is this house. And a trunk. So we can go see what's in here. Ooh. This is the scribe and the bailiff. Uh, this can't be her house, can it? Let's see. No, and that's a very hard lock, which I'm not good enough at yet. Um, maybe this is her house then. Really, that was the bait of sound. Nope, but here's some other broad. Cha! -cha! <coughs> Stop stirring that perpetual stew and get on the ground. The only thing that's hard about this is that I kind of forget where all the other bailiffs are. Beside, or not the bailiffs, the millers are beside the one in uh, Ratai, which obviously you need to um, I need to find out where the other ones are basically and I don't know where they are so it's going to be hard Eventually I will run out of room in my horse, too. Ooh, uh-oh. That guy's gonna go home. Why are you coming at me? Go inside your house. I kinda want your boots. Well, he's not going away, so... Just move on. I definitely don't have 5,000 groschen worth of goods yet, and it is kind of hard to get it in the middle of the day. Um, maybe I will... Oh, well... I can probably sell... I have a bunch of flowers and stuff. I just feel like this goal is so far away from being a reality. Is this the apocalypse? No, this is the scribes again. I wonder if he has any quests though. What are you? Oh, I want to buy grain for Prusilovitz. Okay. To buy some grain. Grain? Why? I'm responsible for the rebuilding. Hmm. I heard some talk about that. Oh. I suppose I can sell you part of the crop. 
How many bushels do you want? Okay, um, you can for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. That's quite a lot. He won't be cheap, even though it's for Sadivish's village. Everything costs so much, and it's all but up to me. The allocations himself. I have to make up for any differences in supply, and you'll have to pay for that. Have you got someone to transport it? Where are you gonna haul it there yourself? I don't have anyone at the moment. Oh man, there's so much you have to do. When you do. How do I do that? Okay, bye. Well, at least I learned I could get grain from the bailiff in Egypt <laughs> and maybe elsewhere. Uh, but also that I need someone to haul it. I'm not who. I'm not, I'm not sure who I'm supposed to get to haul it. Let's see if I have anything to trade or to sell to uh, the trader. So I killed some Keemans earlier, so a lot of their stuff seems to have become, oops, not stolen looking. So let's try to go to the general so I can figure out trader. And let's see what he'll give me for all the shit I have, even though he's being rude as hell to me. I can sell you these two apples. I can sell you a good amount of bandages. Hunting arrow. Two carrots. Cobweb. Oh my god, he only has 64 fucking Groshen. Okay, well, let's sell him like four things. That's the other frustrating part. This is gonna be a long haul doing this. Like, really trying to get everything together is going to take quite a while. Um, there's got to be a better way, really. Some some of these arrows. Oh, well, it's all my honey. Wow, what a great, great haul. Man, I'm gonna be doing this forever. It's just gonna be. I don't know who would buy a cobweb, but whatever. It's just gonna be an endless grind. Because, I mean, traders only have so much wealth. Even the millers only have so much wealth, you know? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm stuck. Right. Oh, why do I have a bounty all of a sudden? What the hell? I guess I'll just leave. Um... A miller in Tomberg. Is there a miller? I don't know anything anymore. I don't think so. I really suck at remembering where places are. That's why I always end up just going back to. That's high. So obviously I know Bro is over there with uh, Teresa. I'm gonna go there and then I can kill those bandits in the forest to get some bulk Groshen. And I can like sell the ears as well. But I wonder, um, I'm not sure if there's a way to track how much money you're making. From uh, the previous of it, like remotely, but that would be really cool. I'll check it when I'm done fast traveling.
and if I run into anyone, I will definitely stop. Usually at this point of the game, I evade just because I don't want to deal with people anymore, but I think I'm going to start stopping murdering anyone I run into and stealing other stuff. So it seems like the only way I'm going to make this much Groshen in this short of a time. <coughs> I mean, the DLC came out to like $13, so not bad, really, for, I mean, it's going to really force you to do a lot more of this game, and, I mean, it's a pretty cool payout of having, like, your own player home and your own city and stuff like that. It'll be neat. Alright, Treza, coming to you. I already tried to see if Teresa could come. She cannot. You have no option of inviting Teresa to come to Provisivitz, even though I think you should, because, like, that's your girl. But you can get Fritz and Matthew to come with you. I discovered that as well. That was, those were the second NPCs I wanted to see if they could join. And they will, but Fritz has made it very clear that you need a tavern first, and then he'll be a general laborer. I don't know how much value you're going to get out of Fritz or Matthew, but it's cool to know they can join, and I probably will recruit them later. All right, Miller. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. Like you don't know who I am. You know I'm not a knight. I've got some goods. All right. Let's see if he has the Groshen again. So he's got quite a lot, over a thousand. And I'm just gonna go through everything I have and see what's stolen and sell that first because he's the only one that'll buy it. A lot of it seems to already have... Oh, there's one. I was gonna say a lot of it already lost the little stolen sign, but here's all the stuff there. Okay. So that's it for all my stolen stuff. I'm gonna start selling my human stuff. And I don't know, my dried fruit stuff. You just give it time, everything becomes not stolen. I'm not gonna sell the hunting arrow. I wanna sell the bigger items to him since he's someone with a lot of aggression on him. So there, I've already made a grand. So maybe the grind won't be as bad as I thought it would. I just have to go away for a little bit. Take these apples. Um, I guess the poison I'll sell to him as well. And I'm gonna actually start haggling because I want. I need to just squeeze this. every Russian I can out of everyone to fund my right. eleven thousand dollar repairs. So let's just go nuts. Let's ask for like this much. Satisfied? Close. Drop the price a bit. So there, I've already gotten an extra almost a hundred oh, groschen just from haggling. There you go. So always haggle. Worst case scenario, your speech goes up a bit. So to give him some time to replenish, I think he's going to be my main point of contact in getting money. I'm going to go do some of these side quests for Bernard over there of going and helping helping another settlement in need that's how I pictured him I'm just gonna get off my horse it's gonna be too hard to get across here oops oops get back up there oh well I can probably just walk but uh, yeah, killing the bandit camps and raiding the camps are another good way to get some quick Groshen if you're... It's deep here. Oh, I thought I could get across here. It's another good way to get some Groshen if you're not into killing and murdering everyone. Which I mean, to each their own, right? I've just been murdering everyone I see or choking them out. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. I guess I'll just take the bridge like a chump. What's this? Aha!
There's always moonshine in the water. Whose horse is this? Whose horse is this? Middle of the bridge. Who just leaves their horse here? There's another guy we can choke out. There's another guy we can choke out. <clears throat> I'm fairly certain no one saw that. Fairly certain. Alright, let's cheese it. Cheese it! And we'll head to the woods. Did I mark it? Yes. So we're gonna head into the woods. The other good thing about the woods is you can hunt there again if you're not into hurting people. Poaching is another way. You can pick endless things, basically mushrooms and flowers. There's nothing else to pick that I know of. But still, mm -hmm. It would be cool if you could like pick some of the radishes and stuff you see at people's farms, but that's okay. Yeah. It's an unnecessary detail, I guess. But you can see even as we pass those dandelions, poppies, chamomile, just a whole bunch of stuff in the forest you can pick. You can also get a perk under strength once you get strong or sorry under herbalism that will give you strength points just a little bit for picking so as soon as you can get that i think it's called leg day i probably put the points into it okay coming up on the camp i usually like to sneak in at night um but I could probably sneak up and get one or two guys. And make sure I still have a dagger. Yeah. Could probably sneak up on a few guys and get them before I have to actually try at combat. This guy's looking right at me. Let me go around. Maybe no matter what I do, but I do have a high sneak, so and they are singing loudly. All the bandits sing the same song. I got one, I got one. Crazy alarm. Watch out. Oh gosh, I don't have my shield. But these guys look pretty weak. What? I can't believe I got that guy already. Honestly, once you get to a really high level in this game, things even out. This is definitely the captain, because he's the only one that's giving me any trouble. Oh shoot, I missed that. You know what? Just fucking die. Focus, Henry. Ah. Ha 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 ha! Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all his shit. Where the other guys go now? There they are. And take their ears. Their ears um, also reward you. Where'd the other guy go? There he is, I think. It's really annoying. Whoa, his ankle! Yikes. Oh, I thought his ankle was more broken. Um, I do wish that these guys would 
have the key to the, there's always like this big chest when you go to these things and no one ever has the key it's really annoying but as you can see this people have a ton of stuff on them all the time so it's still worth doing these quests if you're looking to just grind some money which I most definitely am um don't see any other chest. Oh, there's some wine on the floor, but... Oh, you can poison the wine. Like, there's always a stealthy way to do it, but... I've kind of gotten to the point where it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, let's go hand this in. I'm just going to fast travel because I'm losing. And I want to see how much Grosh and I actually get for doing this. I don't remember. I know it's a couple hundred each time. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe we'll go for a nap or something and see if uh, the miller has replenished the stock. If you haven't already, doing the miller quests also is pretty yielding of Grashen. But they get frustrating really quickly because uh, you get to a point in a lot of them where you need a very high lockpicking skill, which obviously not everyone does have, including myself. I've gotten a little better and it's a little easier once you're up there, but I'm still nowhere near the, I think, 15 points you need in it to do very hard locks. There is some potion out there that allows you to uh, get, I think, an extra five points in lock picking when you drink it. I don't know what it's called though, but it does exist, which is good to know. Here's the last few steps of the fast travel, which are always excruciatingly slow. There we go. He made it. He did it. He got there. Let's talk to Bernardi. To Bernard. Where is he? Oh, he's inside. Yes, don't forget the leader spurs, which they all have for some reason. Don't know if that's like a medieval thing, but I feel like it's not. I think he's going to be up here. There he is. Nope. Always oh, sleeping. Wake up, Captain. Almighty, has something happened to you? Someone steal your fancy clothes? <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> Doing the best I can. I'm gonna hand over the trophies first. Which are ears? Three bandits ears. Not too bad, like not great either, but let's see what we get for the camp. This guy's so rude. Show me the money. So overall, a couple hundred. Oh no! Wow, I'm I'm done. Good work. Thank you, Captain. Oh wow, I thought these would be endless. Idleness, sent word to Captain Robard. They're expecting you at Talmberg. Human hordes rampaging through their. Wow, I didn't know there was an end to his. Glad to hear it. Thanks. Wow, so it starts a new quest, Raiders. But I'm assuming it's going to be more or less the same of uh, what the quests of Sir Bernard are. But, I don't know, they're just not that lucrative. I'm Like, I can make a hundred or so Groshen just by, like, choking out one villager, you know? In much less time. Let's help with the cumin. Uh, let's see if any of my stuff is showing as not stolen yet. Quite a lot of it. 
quite a lot of it's not stolen already. So let's uh, go try to sell some of this stuff. I'm going the right way. I think so. I don't know what time it is in game. But we should still be able to sell a few things. Mr. Capen's already at the tavern. I wish it showed him when he was there, which it doesn't, but oh well. Um, Ranta is kind of my main point to sell everything. And I feel like that's what everyone does. Like Ranta is just a hop in place. So open. Pretty sure this is the guy who doesn't have too much money on him though. Let's find out. Oh, those are stolen. Well, let's see. Jesus Christ, be oh, Jesus Christ, be prepared. He has 300, so I'll sell a few things to him, I guess. See what else I have on my horse. A bludgeon, three bludgeons, a dagger. Wow, lots of torches. Bet you I can't sell much more. He only had, I think, 200 left. And then I'll check how much money I've made so far. Uh, take my bludgeons. Take all these torches. Wow, torches are pretty... pretty useless. I have this, I don't want this. Marigolds are, I think, are the most... or one of the... more worthwhile... things to pick. I didn't kill a dog, I found it. Okay. Um, whatever, he's pretty much out of money. Let's see what else is on my horse. Let's see how much... I have... Uh, I've made about a, a grand, or a little over a grand. I mean, you can see how long I've been doing this. I've been at it for over half an hour. The return's not great. It honestly is really hard to make money. Um, but this is where I'm going to make all my grashen is on the armor and stuff. Uh, I grabbed more than I could carry, but whatever. We'll just take a slow walk over. The armor Why would I want asparagus that would cut me in half? How is that? God be with you. Thanks. When I think of the Groshen that I've wasted in this game. Oh, he's not going to want to buy those. Wow, this trader has 3,000k on him. That's really good. I'm going to have to take out with that. And we're gonna haggle. And then I'll sell him the next round of stuff. Well. I want more. No deal then. No haggle with me! Oh, I went too far. I went too far. I fucked it. Let's try again. That guy drove a hard bargain. The rest I think is me. Okay. Let's be a little less aggressive. I'll try this. What about this? Close. I always go like halfway. He'll he'll say yes. 
Let's see. Do it. Needs me more than I need him. So right off the bat, there's 600. Like, there's no better way to make money in this game besides selling shit and killing people. That you get off the... You know? Maybe I'll sell this. All that stuff from the bandit I killed earlier is already good to go and to sell. So, let's sell all that stuff. I didn't want to let go of my fashionable hat, but I'm going to. You can sell him clothes as well. Um, although I'm going to stop doing that because I'm going to sell my clothes to the tailor to try to get some more money out of it. So the shirts and stuff I'll save for the tailor because all these big ticket items I want to be able to sell to the armor or to the, uh, yeah, the armory. So let's see if he's running out of money, but um, let's sell him as much as we can. There's no shame in killing humans. Actually, he still has quite a bit of money left. Probably I could have grabbed more. No, save the slippers. Haggle. I forgot to haggle last time. Um, so I should have grabbed more, but that's my bad. I'll just ask for like that much. Say yes right away. That's better. Really? There. See now. Um. So let's stop. Uh. Is there anything else even that I... I guess the collar... A lot of the stuff is still showing up as stolen. This kettle hat. So that's it. I'm almost out of stuff now. Uh, let's talk trade. Like at one point I bought these silver spurs. Just gonna close the deal for 80 some. So I think I have like 4,000. 4,000 some odd Groshen already. I'm gonna start moving the non stolen clothes over and head over to the tailors. Well, they are stolen, but they're not stolen. Showing it stolen. I always keep the shirt from Stephanie because I have an attachment to it. Okay, so let's head over to the tailors, and then we will set out again. Oh, it's night time. That's okay. Move all that stuff back. And I guess... I may as well head in the direction of wherever the raider's quest starts. Where is it? Oh my gosh, it's all the way in Tomberg. Uh, I'm just going to fast travel there again. And hopefully this time some sort of event will happen. Where I can stop and get some more Groshen. Because in the meanwhile, Provisionovitz is left on its own, generating money, yes, but also um, taking money away, right? So I'm probably spending more than I'm earning right now. I don't know how much the beehives offset that cost. Eventually, 
I'm sure this will all even out to where you don't have to worry about grinding for money uh, as it starts to take off, because that's the whole idea, right? Is you want it to be making more money when it's taking. I think that's going to be the hardest part of it for me, because I'm uh, bad at math and strategy. So, yeah, Let's see how it goes. In the meantime, I will just choke out random NPCs, do all their stuff, and move along. I've still not found a better way to make crafting this game. It's the best way to do it. It's the only way. I'm tempted to stop to ransack whatever this is that I'm going through right now, but I'll resist the temptation. I played the beginning of this game, and it took me about an hour to get to, or to the DLC, I should say. And it took me about an hour just to get to the point where you could build things, and it was mostly what you're looking at right now, just fast travel and taking messages and stuff like that, like any typical quest, but it's still kind of cool. It was interesting. Good start. Oh, we're going to Tomberg. I forgot where I was even going because it took so long to fast travel. <coughs> no game takes as long to fast travel than this game. That I could think of anyway. But that's okay. There's a lot of room for Warhorse to improve in their next game. Which I'm sure is very far off, but I will play it. Because I've enjoyed this game so much. Uh, so it's night time. There's a trader right there as you come into Tomberg, but he has like two Groshen on him. So, just ignore him. I'm just gonna go for a nap. Maybe I'll eat some of the food I have. Do I have any food on me? Because it is night time. Mr. Sir Robard. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, that's cool. I could choke out all those villagers, but I'm not going to because I don't want to get in trouble in Tomberg. It's probably not worth it. I generally sleep until 9 the next day every time I sleep. Um, because just nothing is open until then. I'm just so eager to fix the church. And it's not even fixing the church all the way, it's just the preliminary repairs. So that kind of is annoying. But to be fair, the church has been there for like 30 years or something. So that used to be Sir Divish's place, but then he was kidnapped, and then Lady Stephanie was like, oh, sad that he got old. Then you bang Lady Stephanie. And that's all I know about Sir Divish. He also has the voice of a 10-year-old. So... I don't know, that was a bit distracting. Kind of gotten used to it now that I've played like hours and hours and hours of this game though. His voice seems natural now. Not like the voice of an infant on a 90 year old man. Although I'm sure he's like 40 in real life because it's like medieval times. Life was hard back then. Always sleep in your full armor. There's no other way. Okay. I guess it's up there that I need to go. Let's go upstairs. Uh, I can't 
don't feel like I'm going the wrong way. Let's actually look at the map. Because they might be on the outside of... No. Oh, it's Robart I have to talk to. And he is on the outside. Oh, I should have talked to him last night. <laughs> Although I didn't see the option to talk, if I remember, but... Hey. Let's just go talk to him now, because if I take a couple more bandits or raiders or whatever it's going to be this time around, I think I'll be on par to getting the first fix in the church. And then we can... My god, Robard hates me. I've been sent by Captain Bernard. He says you have human marauders here. Ah, so it was you, Bernard, was speaking of. Well, mm -hmm. the humans are marauding, that's for sure. So Givish did declare a decent reward for taking the bastards down. But we've not had cause to pay out to anyone so far. Is that because the locals are too frightened? No. They're more than willing to try. It's just they don't seem to make it back again. Oh. But don't let me put you off. We do know of one camp. Along the road to... Shut. I'll pay you your reward if you can bring me proof you killed they peculiar hammer. They wear peculiar help. All right. Okay. Bye. Let's do it. I've taken down so many humans at this point, it's almost like second nature now. I honestly think with just this taking of a human encampment, take all their stuff, come back, sell it, talk to... Robard here. I think we should be good. I think we should be good to do the church. To, let's see where he wants me to go. I'm gonna fast travel to the end. I just don't like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe now I should that I'm trying to grind a little more, stop doing so much fast traveling. But it's just a pain to find your way there and what you're doing and like find the right path and you run into a bush and everything is over. You have to divert your path by like five miles and you have to run because your horse is just not getting over anything. These are not Skyrim horses in this game. So that leads me to choose to fast travel. Which is fine. Everyone can play the game as they like. Can I stop fast traveling right here though? Stop fast traveling! Quit your fast travel, Henry. You can't, you can't quit the fast travel really. I tried. Let's go. My trusty steed. My first playthrough, I never traded in pebbles. Um, this playthrough, I traded in them pretty much as soon as I could. I should probably stick the road. I felt a little guilty about it. And I was also disappointed with, like, the basically no return I got from selling him. Basically just got, like, a slight discount on this horse. Which I guess is fine. I wonder what time it is. Oh, it's so far from being nighttime. I'm gonna have to just go in. Do as well as I can. A feeling the humans will not be as easy to kill as the bandits, but I'm also hoping they're not too hard. I said it was between a cave or between a cliff or something. I 
I don't see it. Why? Is this it? Ooh, this is it. <laughs> the humans are harder. I'm scared of the humans. Is this the guy I need to kill though? Because he's got a thing on. Ah, fuck your leg. Oh shoot. I love the boing sound it made though. Whoa! Okay. That definitely wasn't the guy I needed to kill, but that was a pretty good turnout. He went down really easily. It's kind of embarrassing. With so much armor on. My god. How was that not harder for me? I can take his shield as well. Okay. Go back for the rest. Get over the fucking log, Henry! Is this not their camp? Where the hell are they? Are you serious? Oh my god, I can't aim. Oh shoot. Okay. Fuck. Rude. This is definitely the guy. He's giving me a hard time. Just die. Focus, Henry. I have the perk where if you hit them right in the head, it knocks them right out, but... Whoa, what the hell? That was strange. It almost looked like he just dropped dead. Like, literally just... Out of nowhere. Alright. Well, whatever. I'm definitely gonna go for the rest of them now. Cause like... Ooh, and they had silver spurs on the... Which are worth quite a lot. So here we go. This is where the money's at, folks. Take that with me. Fuck. Oh, I thought I could sneak up on him. Hey, what one? Die. Thank God for my horse having such a high carry capacity. A good horse is the best investment you will make in this game. Thus far. Not sure, maybe there's like a better investment later down the road. Um, I think that's it. I didn't see anything else. I'm gonna go see if they had a perpetual stew ruin. Yeah, they did. I'm just gonna take a quick bite because Henry's getting hungry what like always. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Die, sucker. Good. Give me that shit. 
Anyone else? Anyone else? Why does it still say I'm in combat? There. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna fast travel back to Tomberg. Actually, you know what? No. I'll take my horse. Let's make it a little more interesting. The F is my horse. There he is. Sometimes I wonder if fast traveling is like actually the quicker option all the time. Sometimes it feels like when I ride there it is quicker despite more annoying. That's too many cumins, I'm not dealing with that. That was way too many cumins. Too many cumins. Too many cumins. I would stop for that fishing spot, but I was low-key worried about the cumins. Ooh! Oh gosh. Oh, I almost fell. So yeah, I think in this case, actually... Yeah. Look, look, I'm already back in Tomberg. But now, like, I've gotten off track, so I have to get off my heart. So actually, maybe in this case... Uh, it was quicker to take my horse. Plus then you have the added effect of, you know, getting your horsemanship up quite a bit. So let's see how the raider quests, where the hell is the entrance to Tomberg? pay off <coughs> compared to uh, the bandit quests. It should be more since it's the next tier of doing this. Where the hell did Robert go? Upstairs? Is he sleeping again already? Oh, there he is. They're eating. What do you want? God, Robert. I'm taking care of that camp. Have Why do you hate me room? so much? Here it is. Yeah, here's the mask. Well, that, that I probably could have sold. Okay, so that's way better. Three hundred and seventy-five grasha. Right. That's fine. <clears throat> and let's see what my trophies give me. Three cumin years. 405. It's the same amount, but the main quest is better. But my main interest is making money off all of this cumin gear I have now. So let's back to our time we go. I'm going to start off in the mill because I can sell all my stolen stuff here. Then I will check my purse, see how much money I have, and see if I have enough for that church. I'm hoping I do, because I don't want to play this for much longer. <coughs> I'm hoping the payoff on the church is pretty good after all this grinding. But who knows? I mean, it's just the preliminary repairs, right? So, it could be disappointing. But I guess we'll find out. So, between the miller and the armorer, should be able to sell all the stuff I got off those humans and yeah maybe while I'm there I'll try to see if I can make a few side groschen just off of you know just choking the people out again okay Henry don't dawdle in the Dutch go let's go you've got stuff to do <laughs> 
<laughs> pardon the cough. <clears throat> At least it's modern day and I don't have to die of this cough. If Henry got a cough, he'd die, for sure. Develop into something horrible, well, like a walking pneumonia or something. And there's no cure for walking pneumonia in the medieval times. They just put you under a bunch of unnecessary blankets and try to make you sweat it out. Maybe stick some leeches on you and stuff. Try to bleed it out. They just try to get it out in any way they could. Oh my gosh, the anticipation of this church. I'm gonna waste a lot of time. Why do I have this thing saying people are noticing my bad behavior? The miller loves me. No, I didn't mean to wash myself. Maybe it'll get a w get rid of that uh, message in the corner, though. It did. Good. Okay. I'm oh, shoot! I didn't put all this stuff back in my. So let's see what I have on my horse that's coming up as stolen. This thing. This. Oh, all this stuff is actually coming up as stolen anymore. Not these two things. This. Oh yeah, okay, here's all the stolen goodies. The silver spurs aren't, which is good. Uh, I could probably try to sell a few more things. Okay. Another Peshek. Take my stuff. Alright. Oh shoot. I should sell the sell stolen stuff first. Oh, he's only got two hundred and forty Groshen left. Okay. <sighs> the Miller. I've got some goods here, who's owner. Alright. Oh now I'm worried that maybe the armor. So basically I can sell that and like one other thing. Um Wow, like tunic is basically worthless. Can't even sell that. Do I have anything that's worth like forty? This is worth forty one. Ah oh, shoot. Like I'm not willing to lose out on any money. Ah, man! I guess I'll just... sell him the one thing. Damn. Uh, you be a bit more careful. Um, hmm. That's disappointing. my horse. Well, let's go see. Yeah. It might just not have been enough time. Um, but let's go see what the armor has on him. If not, I have quite a few things to sell to the tailor, and maybe that'll make up for what I don't have to sell to the armor. Like all this, Oh, oh, there's the old Kingdom Come glitches I've come to know and love. Let's see what we can do. Let's just check his wealth. Oh! How are you? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> okay, it's fine. Don't panic. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, let's see how much coin he has on him before I move on. So he's got about 500 something left. I can still sell him quite a bit. 
that. That's mine. Uh, that's all stolen stuff. Still got a hundred something on him. I just want to try to get rid of as much as I can here. Uh, I can sell him all these things. Like the more I sell to one trader, the better. Uh, let's talk trade. Because then it leaves you open, right? Uh, what else did I grab? Okay, whatever. Let's go to the tailor. I don't remember if the tailor has like a ton of money on him. Um, but I guess we'll go find out. I'm gonna just preemptively move stuff to my inventory. Ooh, I'm heavy. And then I do have a few weapons I can sell. Hmm. Taylor and a mime. God, what the fuck is wrong with this guy's clothes, considering he's a tailor? So he's got a thousand. That's pretty good. Let's see where all this stuff gets me. A lot of these things are not really worth that much. Oh wow, he'll buy that, okay. I wonder if he'll buy, um, some of my spurs. I have the other one. I wonder if he'll buy more armor than I think he will. I will move this helmet. Because he might be willing to buy stuff I didn't think he would buy. Let's see if he'll buy that. I'm gonna sell my spurs. Fuck it, I don't need them. My main concern is getting this church up and off the ground. Let's talk trade. Oh, he will buy the helmet. Oh yeah, he'll buy a lot more. So maybe he'll buy more. Well, yeah. Today I learned you can sell him some pieces of armor anyway. Oops. Oh, you ran out of money. I didn't notice. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna try to sell him the heaviest stuff first, which would be that, that. So he's got 600 something on him. Uh, is that 516? Do I have anything really cheap to sell him? Old boots? That'll take me over. Uh, at least working boots. Simple dress. Ah, whatever. Well, no, I'll remove the simple dress. There. Okay. Now, let's see what weapons I have. I don't have a lot of weapons, but I can sell these few weapons I have to the weapon guy. Where's the weapon guy? There he is. Mm, we'll see what we can make. Then I'm tempted. Well, I thought we don't have enough. But let me see what I have after all this. How much Groshen do I have? 6.5k. Um... not going to be enough, I don't think. I might have to do one more of these bandit things. 
god, it's so far away. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Over there. Or I can try a different city, I guess. I can try going to Sasau. Let's see if there's anyone in Sasau who will buy my wares. So I feel like I have enough on me that I could actually might be okay. But at the same time, I am having to pay into Purvis Levitz. Ugh, it's just, it's really, this is not gonna be easy. This is gonna be hard. Uh, I should have just went to Ledechko. Why didn't I go to Ledechko? It was slightly closer. Dear Warhouse, please introduce a way to s stop the fast travel halfway through. That'd be great. Oh, yes! Get ready. <coughs> I will not run away any longer, random bandits. You fucking stinking human. I'll fucking show you. Not human. What the hell? There he is. I'll Ugh. squash you. Call me a louse, you dick. These little fucks. There's literally no skill involved in me fighting anymore. I just poke them till they die. I'm using a mace because I'm trying to level up my strength. Did you fucking just die? I guess maybe there's some skill. Oh my god, it's gonna kill me! I spoke too soon! I've got no armor. This little thing. There, finally, fuck. Die. That's totally merciful. You're welcome for the mercy. Grab his weapon. Cleaver. Neat. Where's the other guy? Two Groshin. Barely useful. Yeah, I'll just move that stuff. Over to my horse so I can continue my fast travel. Where's I going? Maybe I'll just go back to the Dutchco instead. They have a trader. And a tailor. I'm gonna go back to the Dutchco. Those guys answered my prayers and stopped my fast travel short. Oh my gosh, it's so painful. I can't do it. Why didn't I buy back? Oh my god, just go! Oh my god. Oh, 
loading screens in this game are so exciting. They spent so much time designing them, and they're so good, and they entertain me so much. I noticed there was something in, like, uh, like the old Baldur's Gates loading screen where you could move the fire around while it was loading. That was always cool. Ah, uh, it's night time. I'm gonna have to wait till daytime. There's so much waiting. Eleven hours. <coughs> Why? <coughs> I can't even look at this wheel. Oh my god, it's taunting me. I should have found somewhere to sleep. I'm a fool. The traders in this town better be so wealthy and give me what I would like. Or I'll be pissed. Oh my god. That hour seemed longer than all the other hours. Also, the little dial on this thing always looks like it's giving me the finger. Why? Why is that the case? So close. So close. Done. Eleven hours later. Oh, there's a tailor right there. Let's check on that, but it's right there. Funny. Okay, horse. Start off low. I have don't have the highest expectations of the Lodechko Taylor to have a ton of coinage. But let's see what he's got. Or she spoke too soon. Oh no, he he God save you. What can I do for you? Buy all my shit. Oh good. So he's got a thousand Groshen, not too shabby for a local Ledechko boy. And I'm only at a hundred something after selling all this, so that kind of sucks, but clothes aren't generally the greatest money maker. Okay, so we've got about 400 something left. I'm going to I think I'll buy this. Um, wow, I don't really have a lot left to sell him, actually. That's not stolen. So, 47. 104. I wish he would buy this. Oh, I have seven odd K. <sighs> so I'll just try to sell him whatever's left on me that's not stolen. Which is not much, actually. I'm running this stuff. Pay attention to me. I guess I'll try to haggle with him for a little extra aggression. Then I'm gonna head back to Professor Levitz and see. Um, what do you say to this? If I have enough yet. I'd almost shake on that. Okay, whatever. The right. haggle was not worth it. The haggle was worth not as much as my time. 
Um, let me check for a general trader here before I move on, because I can sell some of my weapons. Whoops, wrong button. Wow, I have a lot of arrows. It's shocking how much arrows I have. Um, I guess I'll take 41 of them. Uh, this general guy will buy literally anything. Seems to deal mostly in cabbages, but whatever. I'm at your service. These the ones I took? I don't know. Wow, he only has 180. Um, so I guess I'll get rid of this. Whatever. Okay. Let's see if I have enough. I am at about 4,000 something. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. But I might, uh, I might, might, might just have enough. S scroll through, scroll through the fast travel. Just scroll on right through it. Nothing to see during the fast travel. Why did I have that marked on the map? <coughs> this is killing me. Playing this game is killing me. I just want to know what the church will look like. And I just want to build a tavern so my buds will come. Uh, to go through Mechild. I was getting kind of nervous because I'm supposed to be locked up immediately there. So I've just been avoiding the city for quite some time, but I just keep passing right through it without issue. So I don't know how good the guards are there, but apparently not very. Okay, like why? What's the hold up? Ugh, no, I'm gonna avoid it. I'm, I don't want to. I want to just know if I have enough. Uh, if not, I will continue my grind tomorrow. Because, like, damn. This is just too much grinding. Taking a quick jaunt through Ravna. It would have also been acceptable for Ravna to be the place we redevelop. That'd be kind of cool. But there wouldn't be a ton of reason. I feel like, at least for Pravislavitz, you have the reason of Sir Divish having, like, he's motivated to kind of resettle it. Because it used to be his place and stuff. So, I understand that. Okay, here we go, boys. We're in Pravislavitz. We will be after this loading screen. <sighs> oh my god! There we go. It's cool that you got to see the difference right away as soon as you started building up this place. There's the church! There's a local refugee. Oh, villager now. Henry's hungry again, but I'll deal with that in a second. All right. Whoa! I only have 104K in here? How much money? Is this place costing?
costing me? Oh my god. What's the daily cost of this place? Oh my goodness. Marius, explain yourself. Right. How am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. Ah. You need to get the tradesmen working better and creating space for more people. Oh my god. Doesn't create a good impression. We're on the right track. We haven't re All right. Oh my gosh. Well, let me Wow, that's shocking. Let me take a look at the ledger and see what I can do here. Um, where does it tell me? So, am I not making any money? Like, fuck. Twelve hundred. That's my objective, is to have that as my income. Um, you know what? We may just have to put a halt. Oh, there's a little picture of the beehives. That's cute. Let's just see... Is this Ratos? gonna give me money. It's gonna be the most money here. Can't build a forge yet. Can't build a bakery yet. Can't build a butcher. Or a stable. Or a guardhouse. Can't build a traders. Or a tavern. You need stone and grain. Where the hell do I get stone from? I guess I'll build this bridge painfully. Marius, there's work to be done. Oh. That's weird. Good Let's build the damn bridge. Certainly. The old footbridge won't do. We need a proper bridge and a firm road. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where. All right, run along to the bridge now, Marius. I thought your name was Matthias, but it's not Marius. There's the church remaining untouched. I hate you. I wish I could tackle you. Can't gives me this X. Damn. I'll go to the judgment later too. You can see that. Then I'm gonna call it a day. This is just a true grind. Ooh, I'm super excited for the bridge though. It's so rickety now. It's gonna be so solid. It's weird for the bridge that I didn't need to have stone. I don't know. I find that kind of strange. Indeed. Figured out I could buy the grain. Maybe we can buy the stone as well. Maybe we go to the quarry next time to see. I'll just quickly check again. We have everything we need. Mm hmm. Hmm. We've got what we need. Just do it. Stop talking about it. Just do it. Some generic building sounds. A few days later, shabam. Aww. Looks great. Oh, look at everyone. They're all hanging on the bridge. Aww. Just kind of makes up for it. So maybe my focus for now should not be on the highest ticket item. I think that's what I've learned through this. Um, is to not focus on that item necessarily. So yeah, I'll be coming back tomorrow night, doing some more of this, hanging out with Marius here, seeing what we can build. Alright, till next time. Bye!